Hi, my name is Megan Fuentes. I am the Administrative Assistant for Writers Atelier as well as our newest instructor. Our new course, which is now open for enrollment at the link in the description box below, is all about teaching you how to build your author website using Google Sites. I've been using Google Sites now for at least half a decade and I know there are so many more things you can do with Google Sites than just an author website, which is why I'm going to share with you today four other ways you can use Google Sites. You can browse the examples and find out more at the links in the description box below. But for now... So in this course, you watch me build a website from the blank on Google Sites, uh, but they do have some very schmancy templates here, and I wanted to highlight some of them really quickly before we move on, and I wanted to give you some ideas as to how else you as a writer can use Google Sites beyond just the author website uh, that we've been discussing in this course so far. The first is a digital story bible, and I wanted to show you the help center and the photo portfolio templates for this. So a digital story bible is a really great resource to create if you um, have kind of an on-the-go writing life, if you write on multiple devices, or if you're maybe co-writing a series with some authors or doing something similar like that, uh, you'll probably want a way for all of you to keep all of your details together. This is also great if you have like a really long running series or if you have um, something else where there's a lot of moving parts to it and you need to be able to keep track. You can do character bios or descriptions of settings. You can add photos to jog your memory about such things or even passages from your story that can help you and so on and so forth. It's the same story with the photo portfolio. See here we can change these links to be anything that we want here. You can link straight to a page in your Google site or you can link to a Google Doc or spreadsheet or some other file. If you're looking to make something like a link in bio or something like a link tree for your social media or maybe just so you can have like a list of links on a web page for a QR code that you can add to your business card or something like that, you could start off with a simpler template like student portfolio it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but that's kind of what you want. And can't you totally see these three boxes being book covers with links at the bottom to buy underneath? But these last two ideas are probably my favorite two ideas. So imagine you could have all of your bonus content for readers in one place. One easy link you can give them in your newsletter and they will have access to everything that they could possibly want as a rabid super fan for you. I think this portfolio template would be a great place to start as a bonus content hub. You can add some short stories and epilogues, character bios, printables, a reading order list, and maybe even create some sort of which character are you quiz with Google Forms and add that in there. If you're feeling creative, you'd have to get pretty creative there. All it would take is adding a few extra pages and embedding a few documents or forms or photos or YouTube videos even or audio content, anything that you can imagine. You could even have links to an in-universe website, and that is my last idea for you, an in-universe website for your book or series. Imagine dropping hints about the plot of your next mystery on your private investigator's character's website, or writing out your small town cafe's menu and listing all of the staff members who we all know will be getting romances in this small town. I would check out the dog walker restaurant and salon templates if you're interested in something like that. Those are just four ideas for how else to use Google Sites, but I'm sure you'll think of many more. If you don't want to buy a domain name, and don't worry, we'll get to what it is and how to purchase one and why you need one in a second. What you can do instead is use a link shortener. My favorite link shortener to use is called tinyurl. We'll link it down below. Tinyurl allows you to take these really long Google Sites links that you have to make and shorten them into something much easier to remember. What I like most about tinyurl is, first of all, that it's free, but you could also use bit.ly or a number of other URL shorteners if you wanted to, but tinyurl just happens to be my favorite. Now that you've really gotten a taste of what's possible, let's get into the good stuff and let's build the website. 